The U.S. is in danger of losing its only remaining AAA credit rating among the top three ratings firms. Moody's changing its outlook for the government's rating from stable to negative. The decision fueled by concerns about its ability to manage the national debt. Debt held by the public and debt the government owes its agencies stands at $33.7 trillion, according to the Treasury. Interest rates making it all the more expensive. We're going to spend more on interest expense, interest on the debt then we're going to pay on defense in the not too distant future. In August, Fitch downgraded the country's long-term credit rating to double A+. In 2011, S&P did the same. Both followed partisan gridlock over the debt ceiling. Moody says continued political polarization within U.S. Congress raises the risk that successive governments will not be able to reach consensus on a fiscal plan to slow the decline in debt affordability. Cracks in the confidence in the country's ability to get its fiscal house in order could make it more expensive for the Treasury to borrow money. The taxes you pay the rest of your life will be paying for the debts we racked up for us. Republican Senator Mitt Romney and Democratic Senator Joe Manchin introduced the Fiscal Stability Act, a bill to create a bipartisan, bicameral commission tasked with finding ways to stabilize and reduce the national debt. I think there's no guarantee of success, but it's by far the best option there is to deal with the real structural issues, Social Security. Medicare, taxes. Maya McGinnis, president of the Nonpartisan Committee for a Responsible Federal Budget, says urgent funding requests for Israel, Ukraine, Taiwan, the southern border could push lawmakers to support a commission. If we had been more prepared, if we hadn't borrowed when there was no reason to, we would have had so much more flexibility. One of the reasons Moody's gave for keeping the U.S.'s perfect AAA rating, at least for now, is the central role the U.S. dollar and Treasury bonds play in the global financial system. On Capitol Hill, I'm Atrel Nishar.